hi student in this video lecture we will talk about one of the interesting topic that is about the induced fit model as we will talk about the mechanism of enzyme action now the mechanism of enzyme action that were mainly explained by the two model the first one that was proposed by ml fisher that is about the lock and key model while the second one that is induced fit model now in the previous lecture we have already discussed about the lock and key model now in this lecture we will mainly discuss the induced fit model now look at see the concept of the induced fit model now this model is mainly explained that the enzyme react with its substrate only when some modification occur in the enzyme now look at see what the concept behind the induced fit model now you can see here we have the enzyme now this enzyme is actually the activity of this enzyme it is actually related to the specific site of the enzyme that is called as active site now this enzyme it is it is an active now we have we we should have some modification occur in this active site now after this modification the enzyme it will become active now how this modification occur in the active site of the enzyme now for this modification we will require a substance or uh, some material or other things now these substance they will react with this inactive enzyme and will cause change in the active side of the enzyme so such type of the substance this is called as inducer substance now this inducer substance it is mainly responsible to cause change in the active site of the enzyme now you can see here the active side of the enzyme and the substrate you can see here the structure of the substrate so these are not complementary to each other as we have already discussed in the lock and key model so according to the lock and key model the substrate the shape of the substrate and the active side of the enzyme enzyme they are complementary but in this case you can see here the shape of the substrate and the active side of the enzyme they are not complementary now to fix this shape to to gain the shape of this or to fix this substrate and to the active side of the enzyme we will require this inducer substance now this inducer substance it it will actually react with the active side of the enzyme and will cause changes in the active side of the enzyme now after these changes the enzyme it, it is actually modification occur in the active side of the enzyme and will finally modify the active side of the enzyme now after this modification the enzyme it will become active now you can see here through the help of the in inducer substance we will convert the inactive enzyme into the active enzyme now after this the substrate it can easily react or combine with the enzyme and will convert into enzyme substrate complex and will finally convert it into the product as you can see here the main difference between these two models that is the lock and key model and the induced fit model so both of these two models they are related if they will talk about the active side of the enzyme according to the lock and key model the active side of the enzyme that is rigid but you can see here the induced fit model the active side it is flexible and will change its occur in the active side of the enzyme so this is overall the concept of the induced fit model now we will take a specific enzyme to prove, explain the induced fit model now look you see the specific example to understand your concept about the induced fit model now we have an important reaction and the glycolysis that is glucose when it will combine with the atp and will convert it into the product now you can see here and this step the glucose when it will combine with atp now this process are the transfer of this inorganic phosphate from the atp and to the glucose this process mainly performed by a specific enzyme that is called as hexokinase enzyme now this hexokinase enzyme it will mainly transfer the inorganic phosphate from the atp and to the glucose now this process mainly does not occur in this first step no no product is formed now why the product is not formed because you can see here the enzyme the active side of the enzyme and the shape of the substrate that are not complementary 
the active side of the enzyme and the substrate that are not complementary so and this way no product is formed now how to convert this substrate into the product so for this purpose we will require an additional substance this additional substance that is called as inducer substance now this inducer substance that is mainly responsible to modify the active side of the enzyme now when this modification occur and the active side of the enzyme this process it is mainly converted into the product now you can see I, we will add the inducer substance that is magnesium ion now this is an inducer substance this inducer substance that is mainly modified the active side of this in hexokinase enzyme now this process it is mainly convert the glucose this substrate into the product that is glucose six phosphate and ADP. so this is overall the concept of the induced fit model now look at see the theory now this inducement model it is called as induced fit model now the term induce it is mainly indicated that the substrate are the inducer substance that is able to change the shape of the active side of the enzyme so that's why it is called as induced fit model now this model is mainly proposed by Koshlin in 1958 now this model it is actually called as hand and glove model now this is called as hand and glove model because the hand is able to change the shape of the glove as glove is put on so that's why it is called as hand and glove model now what is the statement of the induced fit model now this mo model actually said that the active site can modify their shape according to the shape of the substrate so this is mainly the statement of the induced fit model as the shape of the active side of the enzyme can modify according to the shape of the substrate so it it simply mean that the in the active side of the enzyme it is flexible and modification occur in the active side of the enzyme according to the shape of the substrate now you can see here in the case of the lock and key model we will relate the substrate and enzyme as according to the lock and key and this model we will mainly relate the active side of the enzyme and substrate as glove and hand and this way the active side it will act as a glove while the substrate it act as a hand so this is mainly the statement of the uh, induced fit model now lock and key model it is mainly restricted to the non-regulatory enzyme now we have the enzyme that that follow the induced fit model mechanism now the enzyme which follow the induced fit model this is called as regulatory enzyme now this regulatory enzyme it is also known as allosteric enzyme so these are the enzyme mainly responsible and the metabolic pathway such type of the enzyme these, these are the example of the regulatory enzyme so mainly the enzyme that is responsible and the glycolysis process so these perform various type of the activity so these are the regulatory enzyme so here are the main important find that related to the induced fit model now the first one that is actocyte is flexible now according to the induced fit model the actocyte it is flexible and modification occur while in case of the lock and key model the actocyte it is rigid and does does not modify according to the shape of the subtract now the second point that enzyme are not specific as we have already discussed about the lock and key model and according to the lock and key model the enzyme are specific only a specific enzyme that is able to convert a specific substrate into the product but in case of the induced fit model the enzyme are not specific each enzyme can able to perform various type of the activity and various type of the substrate into the product so that's why enzyme are not specific now what's the importance of induced fit model is induced fit model explain the dynamic structure of enzyme as in case of the lock and key model the the lock and key model actually define the enzyme it is a rigid structure and cannot modify but in case of this induced fit model this will modify or changes occur in the active side of the enzyme so the first important that is explain the dynamic structure of the enzyme that the and the structure of the enzyme modification occur and the shape of the enzyme it can be modified now it is the most accepted model so this is all about the induced fit model thank you sir